Have you ever seen that meme about how eventually everything evolves into a crab? How even stuff that's completely genetically unrelated will eventually start to turn into something resembling a crustacean, because that's just a really efficient way to survive? Well, the platypus evolved to become a mammal, decided that wasn't working, and then seemingly tried to evolve into every other animal all at the same time. Platypus are very strange animals native to eastern Australia, because of course they are. They're the only surviving member of their family, and the only thing even remotely related to them is echidnas, since they're both monotremes. The most famous weird thing about the platypus is, alongside echidnas, it's the only mammal to lay eggs. While this is strange on its own, it's just one of a whole host of completely bizarre and unique things about this animal. It's so odd that the first time Europeans found the animal in 1799, they thought it was a taxidermy meant to trick them because it made no biological sense. So in this video, I'll go over all the weird things about the duck mole so you can understand how friggin' strange this thing actually is. First of all, the platypus doesn't have a stomach. They just straight up don't have one. Instead, they chew up their food, swallow it, and then it just goes right down to their intestines. Why? Well, the diets of platypus and echidnas are mostly made up of stuff that's completely unaffected by stomach acid, meaning it's essentially useless. Maintaining the enzymes and the organ itself takes up a lot of expensive energy, so if it isn't helping you digest your food, why not just get rid of it? Over time, the platypus that survived were the ones that had smaller and smaller stomachs, since they could use more energy on things that would actually help them. After a while, they just sort of stopped having them altogether. Also, platypus are blind and deaf underwater. That's right, the animal that spends half of its life underwater, the place where it gets all of its food, can't see, hear, or smell under the surface. So how on earth does it get around? Well, platypus actually have a sixth sense that lets them navigate underwater regardless, electroreception. A platypus bill is friggin' psychic and can detect the changes in electrical fields produced by its prey's muscles. It's one of the only two animals that has this ability alongside the echidna, although its blind sight is about 40 times stronger than the echidna's. This trait is something that's usually found in sharks and dolphins, not tiny mammals from East Australia. It's a little horrifying if you think about it. Underwater, a platypus always knows where you are, and no matter how much you try to hide, so long as you are breathing, it will always be able to find you! Something else with this ability could make for a really awesome horror monster. However, there's another weird side effect of being psychic, losing all your teeth. Platypus are actually born with teeth, but they fall out as they grow up. Basically, the nerves that the animal needed to be able to find prey underwater had to get so ridiculously big that there wasn't any room left for the roots of teeth. So by the time the first set falls out, they simply can't grow another pair. This is especially weird since they eat a lot of crunchy crustaceans and mollusks, but they actually replace their molars with these hard pads made of something called keratin. This would be like if you lost all your teeth once you entered puberty, but your gums transformed to be made of pure fingernail, hard enough that you could still eat crunchy food. And because of their weird mouths, they end up making a pretty unusual sound. Looks like Phineas and Ferb wasn't too far off. Being underwater all the time means they need to conserve energy, and since water is cold, that means that having a high body temperature is going to take a lot of calories. As a result, platypus have a freakishly low body temperature in comparison to most mammals. Most mammals are hovering around 38 degrees Celsius, or 100 Fahrenheit, humans being slightly lower at 37 or 98.6. Platypus are all the way down at 32 degrees Celsius, or below 90 Fahrenheit. This means that they're actually cooler than the outside temperature many days of the Australian year. So during summer in many parts of the east, platypus will actually be cold to the touch. Warm-blooded animal, my Platypus are good swimmers, but being great underwater comes with a downside. The webs of their feet are big and unwieldy, so if they walked normally, they would be constantly falling over. It'd be like you walking around everywhere in flippers. As a result, platypus evolved to walk on their knuckles like gorillas. In fact, they're some of the only animals to do so, alongside two apes, anteaters, and pangolins. Sometimes they'll get around normally, like if they're climbing something, but if you look closely, you'll see it all the time. 
But walking like this means they're not very mobile on the ground, so they're nocturnal to stay away from predators. However, they've gained a weird trait as a result of walking at night. Platypus glow in the dark. We can't see it since it's ultraviolet light, but ones that can would see a noticeable difference between a platypus during the day and one in the evening. Scientists only discovered this in 2020, and they're still not exactly sure why. It's possible that absorbing UV light instead of reflecting it like most mammals would help them blend into the background, and avoid predators that can see in ultraviolet. A lot of birds of prey eat platypus and can also see ultraviolet, so it makes sense, although we still can't confirm it yet. However, platypus also have a weapon. Some of the worst venom of any mammal. Since they're otherwise tiny and harmless, male platypus needed a way to fight each other during mating season, so they evolved a horrible venom that they eject from a spur on their hind legs. It isn't deadly to humans, it's not strong enough for something of our size, but it is ungodly painful, and the agony sticks around for weeks. PSA for any Australian viewers, if you see a platypus, don't pick it up. There's about a 1 in 4 chance that you'll be in immense pain for the next month. Interestingly, they don't seem to use this venom against predators much, probably since if they did, the spurs could get trapped in the animal and they'd get carried off into the distance. Now let's talk about those eggs, alright? Unlike every other animal, the one and only platypus and the four and only echidnas all lay eggs. Instead of the baby growing in the womb, they get all the materials together for a baby over the course of two weeks, then lay an egg, which hatches about a week later. The egg actually spends more time in the platypus than it does out. The eggs are small and leathery, incubating as the mother wraps herself around them. The babies, called puggles, hatch and get 20 times bigger over the course of the next three months. The fact that these mammals lay eggs is weird in the first place, but what's weirder is how they make them. This last section is going to be about platypus mating. It's a little disgusting, but it's really interesting, so I recommend you watch it anyway. I won't be showing anything graphic. Okay, so most mammals have a few holes. An anus for one, a penis if you're male, and a vagina and a urethra if you're female. It's two or three depending on your biological sex. Marsupials are weird and different, it's a similar system, but just more complicated and with double the equipment if you know what I mean and there are a couple of exceptions with each of them. But monotremes, aka the four echidnas and the platypus, are the weirdest of the trio. All of them have something called a cloaca, which is normally only found in birds and reptiles. What does this mean? Basically, they poop, pee, lay eggs, and uh, fornicate through the same hole, which sounds disgusting. This is actually where the word monotreme comes from, it's from the Greek word monos, meaning single, and trema, which means whole. There are a few other mammals with a cloaca, like tenrax and a couple of types of moles and shrews, but it's pretty uncommon. While humans generally have a pretty normal two sex chromosomes, either an XX or an XY, with uncommon exceptions, platypus are once again weird and actually have ten, and half of them are closer to birds than mammals. We're still not sure why. In addition, for some reason, despite having two ovaries, only the left one in the female platypus actually works. The other one is just vestigial and useless. Also, since platypus don't have nipples, if they want to feed their young, the female platypus have to sweat milk. Yep. Anyway, that's it for this video. My last four videos were either serious, long, or long and about Undertale. So I figured this time I would do something short and stupid. If you hated the video, please smash that dislike button and leave a comment telling me how I can improve. If you liked it, there's a platypus controlling me. Not only can I not stop, can't stop, but I also can't ask you to subscribe and turn on notifications. With all that said, thank you, goodbye, and I'll see you sometime in the future.